Welcome. You're listening to Ask the Doulas, a podcast where we talk to experts from all over the country about topics related to pregnancy, birth, postpartum, and early parenting. Let's chat. Hello, this is Kristen Revere with Ask the Doulas, and I am so excited to chat with Marnie Madras today. Marnie is the founder and CEO of Rumbly. Welcome, Marnie. So happy to have you here. Thank you. I've been looking so forward to this, so it's great to be here. So I would love for you to give us a bit of your background. I know you, you know, worked in the corporate sector and also um, in the startup landscape, and then would love to hear how your journey took you into working with women in pregnancy and newly postpartum and also starting a subscription box. I'll try to go through it a little quicker because my background is really diverse, but yeah, I've kind of dipped in and out of corporate and entrepreneurship, I would say throughout most of my working career. And I was in working for large multinational organizations. And from my entrepreneurial side, I had a tea shop at one point, very different from what I'm doing today with Rumbly. I had a jewelry business and otherwise in corporate, I was in food and beverage and toy. So I've kind of been um, all over. And my journey to Rumbly really started with, I'm a mom of four. Right now I have four littles. My oldest is almost eight and my youngest is eight months. And my journey really started after I was pregnant with my second daughter. With my first, I wanted nothing more than to be pregnant, had a bit of a struggle to get there and then got there. And it was just, it was in my eyes, the most magical thing. And it really struck me that I was kind of alone in that thinking. Most of the women I knew around me that I spoke to really disliked being pregnant. And I get it. Pregnancy is hard. Yes. There's, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a lot of challenge and physically, emotionally, spiritually, you know, everywhere. And that's there. But personally, for me, at the end of the day, I still was so excited to be pregnant. And it really saddened me that other women around me didn't feel the same. So fast forward to my second pregnancy. After I had my baby, I felt really off. I loved my pregnancy. I love being a mom and something it just didn't feel right. It wasn't postpartum depression. And I really couldn't understand what it was. And after really spending a lot of time, you know, working through that, what I learned was that I lost Marnie in the process of becoming a mother. Yes. And that loss of identity was very, very hard on me. Before going into pregnancy, I was confident, multi-passionate, very career driven. And when I came out as a mom, I became just a mom and Marnie was second and my whole universe around me identified me as mom first and Marnie second. So going on a long kind of story, that feeling of transformation and loss of identity and new identity mixed with the fact that women didn't love their pregnancies uh, and my background in you know entrepreneurship, I knew this is the place I have to be. I have to do something. I have to do something for these women, and we have to change the narrative, and we have to make pregnancy more focused on women and their experience and improving that experience. Yes, hundred percent agreed. So I feel like, especially after the first baby, women do get lost in motherhood and our identity as moms. So with the you know baby shower the first time, it is more celebrating baby than the mother. So I love that yeah. your subscription box is focused on the mother, that unique journey and quite a bit of self-care items and just ways to celebrate, whether it's you know, baby number one or baby five, you're still going through that transition to motherhood every time. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've personally been through it four times over and, you know, you continue to evolve, but I, I believe so strongly that, you know, the way you start off this journey will impact your journey through motherhood. And that's really why for Rumbly, I want to start you know, connecting with women the moment they find out they're pregnant. 
you know, and really being there for them. And being there, it, it means supporting through the hard times, but also celebrating the good and the milestones. And, you know, every time you hit a new month, a new week, every, that that's a milestone and we should be celebrating it you know, because the journey is so hard. And, and again, I, if, if we can work on improving that part of the motherhood experience, then I really think that in postpartum in those early years of motherhood, we're really going to set ourselves up for a better experience. Exactly. And, you know, certainly seems like the perfect gift from family members or friends to just have a lovely, you know, reminder to take some time for yourself and focus and just have the anticipation of the new box arriving. Are you doing a lot with gifting or showers? Yeah. So Rumbly has really two main purposes. And one is to show up monthly for women on their pregnancy journey. And that's gift them basically a box of stuff that's really timed to where they are in their pregnancy journey with items that are for for the woman they are and the mom they're becoming. And that's that's consistent in every single Rumbly box. You will find half the items for where you are today and half the items to remind you of who you are and where you came from. So the subscription journey is a monthly experience and it does end at the end of your pregnancy. And then we also offer a line of themed gift boxes that are encouraged for women to purchase on their own. You know, if they want just one specific box and they don't want to commit to an entire subscription with Rumbly, but it is also the best gifting solution. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart because so often everything is about the baby. And again, like, you know, mom is going through a tremendous amount of transition and change and, and she needs stuff too. So Rumbly is really, we love baby, but we're not here for baby. So we're here totally for the woman. And when you get a gift from Rumbly, you will find items in there that are all catered to her. And yes, you're right. So it's a, it's a, it's a combination of self-care items. There's apparel, there's tech There's books, beauty, wellness. We really cross every single product category that you will find sprinkled throughout every Rumbly Ball. I noticed that from your website and love it. So it's not solely focused on, you know, the typical subscription box that might have tea and like very self-care, like cozy socks. There's much more to it. Yeah, it's very, very thoughtfully curated. I spent two years before I actually launched Rumbly just on the curation. And it was really interesting because first when I was working on, you know, I sat down and what am I going to put in these boxes and really thinking back to my own experience and speaking to women, whoever I could speak to and, you know, what they wish they had or what they did have and they love. And then right before launching Rumbly, I found out I was pregnant with my fourth. So as I launched Rumbly, I really got to live through the experience myself. That was the best kind of way I could really test out, you know, are these products that we're putting in these boxes, the best thing that we can give for women that are really, again, going to support, uplift, celebrate, and, and really make her experience better. Yes. I love it. Hey, Alyssa here. I'm just popping in to tell you about our course called Becoming. Becoming a mother is your guide to a confident pregnancy and birth, all in a convenient six-week online program. From birth plans to sleep training and everything in between, you'll gain the confidence and skills you need for a smooth transition to motherhood. You'll get live coaching calls with Kristen and myself, a bunch of expert videos, including chiropractic care, pelvic floor physical therapy, mental health experts, breastfeeding, and much more. You'll also get a private Facebook community with other mothers going through this at the same time as you to offer support and encouragement when you need it most. And then of course, you'll also have direct email access to me and Kristen in addition to the live coaching calls. If you'd like to learn more about the course, you can email us at info at goldcoastdoulas.com or check it out at thebecomingcourse.com. We'd love to see you there. So obviously, like it's ideal to 
subscribe like very early in pregnancy, but there are options if um, our listeners or doula clients find you later in pregnancy. As you said, there's the one time box or can join later. Yes. You can also, even the monthly subscription, you select which month you want to start at and we'll start shipping you boxes for that. So if you don't find out about Rumbly till, you know, you're in your fifth month and you start on your month five box. So there's really, oh, there's a lot of flexibility and, you know, I'm working on if to get it onto the website too, but if there's any items from past boxes that you wanted to add, to a box if you were starting later that you would be able to do that because our first box in the subscription our first trimester box there's a lot of items in there that you'll use throughout your entire pregnancy and even after so some of those items if you if you start let's say on month five like one of my favorite items that we created and this is was created in-house is we have a countdown flip milestone calendar and it's in a wooden frame. It's really beautiful. It can just, you know, sit on your desk, your bedside. I've seen women put it in their bathrooms. And it's a weekly uh, tracker of milestones, but the prompts are all about the woman. So it's a little bit of a twist on your classic sort of fruits and how big is baby, because this yes. is about women and it's about her experience and what's happening. You know, so this week, you know, later in pregnancy, you might be experienced lightning crotch, or there may be a tip of like, Hey, time to, you know, consider if you want to do any maternity photos. So it's really, it's all about her, but it's a weekly calendar anyways. And that's one of the items that is in our first trimester box, but um, women would use that throughout their entire pregnancy. So if you start later, it's um, a product that's also nice to add in to a later box. Beautiful. So let's chat about identity and that shift in the transition to motherhood. What are some of your, you know, tips in trying to reclaim your pre-pregnancy self and have um, a bit of time where it's, again, not as much of the focus on baby and more about your journey and celebrating motherhood. Yeah, there's a, there's, there's, there's a lot in there. I mean, the first thing is, is acknowledging that it's happening and there's not enough awareness and conversation that you are, you are going to, go in as one person you are going to come out another and that's okay but what it what's important is is keeping who you are in that process so what I mean by that is you know for me I went in Marnie and I came out mom but I lost Marnie in the way and what what I hope women do is they go in as one and they gain motherhood but they don't lose themselves in the process so in terms of identity it's that motherhood becomes one of your multi identities, but it's not your only identity. So it's the first step is really knowing and understanding that that this this will happen. And other things that I think that women can really do is is know that there's you can hold space for the and too. So again, so it's it's I'm Marnie and I'm a mom. I'm Marnie and I love to do yoga. I'm Marnie and I love to cook. So holding that space for the end, I think is also something that women can practice doing as soon as they're pregnant, because there's a lot in pregnancy that you can't do, but then there's a lot that you still can do. So, exactly. so, and that's, that's really, it's really important where we kind of shift our focus. Um, I think too, it's, it's finding within those cans and can'ts in making those modifications. You know, when I, with my first, I heard from everyone, you know, I can't lift things. I can't work out. I can't, you know, eat certain foods. I can't drink coffee. And it's navigating what feels right for you, but also understanding there is a lot that you can do. So, you know, if you're passing over that cocktail, reach for the mocktail, you know, and one of the items we put in our box. Um, in terms of exercise, absolutely, women should still be doing exercise. You may just need to modify what your routines are. And we actually put wrist and ankle weights in one of our subscription boxes as well to motivate women, to inspire them to still keep moving. You know, it helps with your, you know, not just from a physical 
point with your, with blood flow, but mentally, like it's so important, just, you know, get fresh air, go for a walk. And, and that's really like a point of inspiration. So it's about making these modifications. Um, a lot of change happens in our relationships as well. Um, Definitely. And so Rumbly tries to support that a bit in our subscription boxes with games and other products that really help you reconnect with your friends and partners. We have letters in every box as well that kind of give, a, provide a little tips um, as well to really support your relationships uh, and something too I found I really struggled with and I'm still struggling with, to be honest, is kind of rebonding with um, a lot of loved ones in my life that, you know, there was a lot of shifts and change in pregnancy. Um, so I think that being just really cognizant of that too uh, is, is really, really important. And then carving out time for yourself, you know, think about what did you love to do pre-pregnancy and still do that, you know, still, still do that. Don't, don't lose those things. Don't, especially when you become a mom, you, you know, I, I really dislike when women are like, well, I'm a mom and I can't do that anymore. You can, right. you can do, you can do everything. You can't, you can do everything. You just have to be creative, find the ways, but you can still do it. Such good advice and spanning again, everything from relationships to friendships to just finding that self-care time. And I agree about the exercise component. I mean, if you're medically able, it can, you know, make your labor much quicker and smoother as well. Having that consistent, you know, simple exercise, as you mentioned, walking. I love swimming during pregnancy. So. Mm -hmm. And you may discover new passions and that's, that's something to embrace and look forward to as well. You know, again, as we're continuing to evolve, be open to that too, but make sure there are things just for you. Exactly. So what are your top self-care tips for our listeners as a busy mom and entrepreneur? How are you taking time? So the number one thing is do one thing for yourself every single day, something totally totally selfish if that's a word you're comfortable using oh yes whether it's going to get a coffee whether it's taking a moment to scroll instagram or tiktok it doesn't matter what it is it's whatever as long as it's something that's just for you and that feels feels that way almost like in even like a rebellious way you know that's how the the response to that if it feels that way is magical and it's amazing and and someone gave me that advice and I've really stuck to that every day. And a lot of times for me, it may just be, you know what, I have a small dinner with my kids and after I sit alone and I eat alone and it's like, that brings me so much happiness. I can't tell you. Yes. Uh, and, and to avoid, I think the criticism of what self-care means is also important because I, you know, I hear a lot of women trying to tell you what self-care is and isn't. And that's kind of why I mentioned, you know, self-care to you is you're just happy to have a moment to like, you know, go on your phone and scroll, whatever. That's, that's okay. We're no one's here to tell you what's right or wrong. It's really whatever feels good for you and find that one moment in the day. The other thing that I would really recommend for all women is setting boundaries. And that's something that I'm really working hard on now personally. And I think again, as early as your pregnancy, start setting those boundaries to really help set you up for postpartum early years of motherhood and spend time understanding what your boundaries are and then verbalizing them. So those around you know what those are. And it really helps to hold yourself, I think, accountable to it. Yes. Great advice. So how can our listeners find, you know, Rumbly and, you know, subscribe? And I know you're on quite a few social media channels, so feel free to share away. Thank you. So the best way to find Rumbly is on Instagram. We're at Rumbly underscore CO. That's the same as TikTok. And you can kind of follow us on 
either of those channels. And otherwise, our website is rumbly.co, R-U-M-B-L-Y dot C-O. And you can also send an email, my personal email. I'll drop it too, because I'm always happy to have a conversation with anyone. Anything to do with pregnancy, motherhood, identity, I'm here. And it's Marnie, M-A-R-N-I-E at rumbly.co. Love it. And so I know you shared a bit about the calendar in the box. Any other um, favorite items in the box for our listeners to get excited about? Yeah, I would have to say, you know, with two things on that, our, our Rumbly exclusive items are probably my favorites. And I created those because they don't exist. They didn't exist and they still don't exist. And they were things that I really felt that would be really useful in my pregnancy. So one is that Camptown Milestone calendar. The second would be, I have a pregnancy, this felt folder organizer has two ultrasound photo slots in it as well. And this is your like personal PA. Like it's to hold all your papers, your pamphlets, your documents, your appointment reminders, again, ultrasound photos, everything in this one sheet folder, your go-to. And I absolutely love that because I found when I was pregnant and even in after birth, I just was inundated with tons of papers and things to read up or even ultrasound requisitions. And I had, they were scattered around my house. So I absolutely love that item I used in my fourth pregnancy. And those would be my top two favorites. And then there's the rest of the boxes. What I wanted to say was we hold a very limited inventory of everything in the boxes. Currently Rumbly partners with female founded uh, brands across four continents And those are typically independent brands. So we're not always working with big brand names because part of, I think, the delight is to discover new brands that we absolutely fall in love with and that we want to share with you. And so we're constantly rotating products to keep it um, fresh, but also keep as we discover new products in the market and new other businesses that we want to support. Those are always rotating through. What a wonderful way to support other female entrepreneurs. My business is a certified B Corp. So I always try to support local and support women. So I love everything you're doing, Marnie. Amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time. And I can't wait to share Rumbly with our doula clients and our online course, Becoming a Mother Students. Amazing. Thank you. It was so great to talk to you. I really enjoyed everything. Same. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Ask the Doulas. For more information about Gold Coast Doulas, visit us on our website, goldcoastdoulas.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and give us a five-star review. Thank you. Remember, these moments are golden.